Okay, so now we're going to look at alternate angles. Okay, alternate angles. This is another theorem, I suppose I should put it there. Alternate angles are equal. So what's alternate angles? If I have two parallel lines and a line intersecting it, we know co-interior with the angles that on the same side of the intersecting line. Alternate angles are the ones on the opposite sides. They're on alternating sides. Does that make sense? So alternate angles are equal and the proof is almost exactly the same as this previous one. Almost. Okay. So, so let's see if now based on what we've done so far, would you be able to find this one's proof? C E F G H. Okay, I'm going to repeat what I just said to to Karabo. If you maybe struggle to find it, use values and then try and find. So I going to use an example let's make this one 60 degrees okay and I want to show that this one is equal to that one okay which means that this one is also 60 but I, I can't use that I, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find the shortest path to get there and I like the way Karabo did it mm -hmm. she said that this one is equal to that one and then she said that that one is equal to this one. These two are equal because of vertically opposite. And these two are equal because of corresponding. Okay, corresponding angles. So I like that proof. It, it, um, it uses more of the theorems than, than just using the theorem of adjacent angles on a straight line and co-interior angles. So, and it's a very simple one, so I like that. I'm going to use that one. So, to prove, okay, so to prove, now we just do it without the values. We want to prove that A, G, H is equal to G, H, D. Okay, they're called alternating angles. And uh, first we say, okay, uh, we know that E, G, B is equal to, um, sorry, H, I suppose it doesn't matter, A, G, H, I would have written it the other way around, uh, but I didn't, vertically opposite angles, and then I say, but, E, G, B is also equal to, uh, G H D Y Corresponding angles. We're allowed to use it now because we've proven it. Okay, therefore A G you see again we've got the same expression. We've got this these two are the same, which means that these two must be the same. So A G H must then equal G H D. Excellent. And there we've we've proven it. I like this proof.